Well, this video should answer a few questions. Um, I've borrowed this vehicle off just at Citroen at Preston again on Fire Road. Uh, it, it's been in and out like I don't know what on demo. So when I picked it up this morning, it only had, I think, 11 miles range. I've come to work. It's given me a chance to test the lead. I got the extension lead from Tough Leads, which is working fine. Car charging great just shows you here I've got two minutes to go it did seem to stick on 12 minutes to go for quite a while so with the key um, what also I'm going to try and do is is the the my Citroen app or the, the the DAT plug which plugs in underneath the dash here now that was flashing blue as well so I don't know whether that that is powered all the time and I have seen some reports where people have gone away and they come back to the car and it's flat now I don't know whether it's like the old alarms used to flatten batteries so it could be that so here we go I'll just turn it on so that's turned on bearing in mind I'm still plugged in over here but what I want to try and do if I can do let's uh, record this two one record so that's going there we'll find the Citroen app now connection so that's I've put the chassis number in I put the mileage in um, there is a there'll be a red button coming out on the new Citroens um, my car I think it's called so you can actually pair it to my car and, and change your phone from there that says successful connection now so activate your data me close Let's see, so here we go. Um, I can't see a bloody thing. So that's in, it's done 438 kilometers. We've got 75 kilometers range. We just see here, click on that. Oh dear, Access Europe's largest network. I don't want to do that. Digital service record, discover more. Let's just go. No doubt there will be somewhere in settings that you can Let's see, vehicle, discover more, contacts, Miami services. All right, that, so that's showing where I am at the moment, showing where your car is. Uh, see my own location, go to my vehicle, share my location. Miami services. Anyway, that that's... <laughs> That's how you, you pay your mobile to it. So, right. Now, I, I'm wet through. It's, it's pouring down here in uh, Hale Walton. I'm going to take the charger out now. It's, it's, I'll turn that off. It's showing 46 miles. Oh, before I do that, actually. This is what I hope to install. That's uh, an Apple CarPlay. Now, um, I'm thinking I don't really want to drill any holes in the dashboard or anything but there is a hole through there where you you, you put your phone and the lead goes through there the USB uh, that only pulls off I'm thinking I could mount it there that's pretty sturdy and I can put a clamp through there to hold that in place so it'll be in the right place and I'll have full uh, Bluetooth functionality it will use some power definitely will use some power but I've only got a round trip of about uh, 10 miles a day so I, I'm not really bothered if I'm going longer I won't switch it on I'll just use my phone right as I say I'm wet it's throwing it down outside the car the rubber mats are wet the car steamed up so we'll see how good the heater performs as well which I've been asked So there you go, that's, that's my charging extension there from Tough Leads. That's the, whoops, that's the lead. Let's say, the longer it takes to do this, the wetter I'm getting. 
but you can lock the car as well. That lead all tucks in there. The Type 2 charger plugs onto there, but that, that's here at the moment. I'll just put this away. keep going to get in to pull the door open at the back the keys that opens the door or those those two open the door and that's the ignition so we're back to the old days foot on the brake turn the key on press it a little bit further till it beeps that's it what I'm going to do now is in neutral that's the speed and that's your charge so we're ready to go we're all misted up I'm going to put that on, see what happens, and see where we are here. Wind drive. It is pretty noisy. It's clearing the middle of the windscreen there quite quickly. As I say, I, I'm, I'm wet, my, my hair's wet, my jumper's wet. It's not, I've, I've, I've been in normal cars before where, where this happens. We've got here the, the side window. I can open that up like so. It also, before I noticed it, this is so stiff it actually sticks. I've got some, uh, I've got some clips to enable me to open it at a certain angle. So we'll see how that good that goes. So far with this, with the heater on, it's not knocked me down any from 46 miles. And I dare say that once you get going, there'll be more heat from the batteries to uh, to distribute. So I won't do what you'd see in the in the snow where everybody drives around with like a little pillar box through the screen it's not like you in a internal combustion engine car where you can just sit there revving I, I live in a, some apartments and there's a young lady lives there and she goes to work early and about six o'clock in the morning when it's icy all you hear is this little Citroen C1 revving its uh, nuts off until she defrosts the car. So, uh, but you can't do that here, so. It's, <coughs> it's defrosting in like an eagle sort of pattern. It's coming up from the center. I think there may be an option or an addition now where you can get a piece that clips in there that spreads the airflow out further. Can I see enough now? Probably not. It is clearing though. I'm not sure what it looks from the cameras, but I, I mean, I'm okay. I've got, I've got dark glasses on, I can still see. I'll just do that. So that's, that's my view at the moment. Um, it is clearing away. And it does, I mean, I, I don't want it any warmer, to be fair. I'm warm enough. That's, that's part of the problem here. So away we go again. indicators on the left there I'll switch the wiper on we're doing 28 
going to turn that off in a second. I'm going to leave the heater on and see what that does. It looks like it knocks it all off at the same time. Just need to wipe that. Roof's cleared up. Can you have them on independently? No, I'm not sure. It's as soon as you... Right, so you can have the fan on and you can have the fan and the heater. You can't just have the heater. Another thing I've seen, uh, comments, people say that it, it holds back when you're doing 28 uh, and surges. Now the reason it's doing that is there's, there's a long pedal travel here and it's only the first, what, two, two and a half, three inches that actually has an effect on the vehicle. It will go another, the pedal will travel another inch, inch and a half. If you have it further on inch and a half, you're just maxed out all the time. And it's, you probably won't be able to feel that now, but it's surging. And the reason it's surging is you've, you've gone too far. You know, it's not going to go any faster than 28. So having your foot there is a waste of time. If you pull your foot back, I mean, I've pulled my foot back another inch and we're still doing 28. Now the vehicle isn't surging. And, you know, the <laughs> people say, oh, but, but the screen fogs up. Well, you know what else fogs up? Your visor on a motorbike in this weather, except I'm not getting wet through. I have a little bit of steam condensation, but, but that's it. You know, <laughs> you don't steam up when you're waiting for a bus. <laughs> but when you get on the bus, all the, all the bus's windows are steamed up. <laughs> and it's a pretty miserable place to be. This, this, is, this is all right. We kind of, I mean, it would be better. In this, these conditions, it would be better if I could go a bit faster. It would. But I can't, and it's not made for that. The, the times I will be out during the day, you know, this is, for me, is just to get to work. And it, But even going around town when I was coming at 11 o'clock this morning, it, it was 25 mile an hour, if you were lucky. So... This is a country lane. And, and you know, and, and again, you, you'll have people saying, oh, you shouldn't go up these lanes, you know, you should stick to 30 mile an hour. Oh, no. Well, just Citroen are going to think I've been rallying it, which I would never ever do. I'll, uh, I'll have to get it washed before I take it back to them, but hopefully I'll, I'll be able to show them this video to the building site. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's ideal for plodding around town, but on roads like this, in, in my last video, Somebody said, I wouldn't take it on a 50 mile an hour road like this idiot. Well, I wasn't on a 50 mile an hour road. It was a 50 mile an hour road joining from the left and going to the right or right and left round a roundabout. There's nothing I can do about that. It goes right through the center of Preston. And unless I was to, you know, unless they built a flyover, then you can't get across there. So that's why I was going across there. But I can, I can tell you, at the weekend, this road will be full of cyclists. They don't ride in single file, they're, they're riding groups as a club. You can't get past them. They're not doing 28 mile an hour. You know, you'd be lucky if they're doing 15, but they'll take the whole road up because it's safer for them. 
apparently that's the reason. It's not just to annoy drivers, although I do have my suspicions. Um, yeah, they, they, they form a kind of oblong because it's safer for them. I don't know why that would be, because if there was just one there, you'd have enough room to overtake, but that, that's it. So I, I don't see why you shouldn't come on roads like this. I'm going to put this, put the window up and see what happens now to the condensation. As I say, I'm warm enough. And it's a horrid day. I will be putting a, a leisure battery in mine, which I can charge up at the same time, hopefully. And I'll be putting a heater and a, and a better fan. I have plans for the heater too. That's creating quite a nice breeze, just having it like that. Get to cancel the indicators. I can tip right over here. The good thing with it being left hand drive, you can tuck right over and let people go by. Now that's not too easy. Should be alright with the average speed.
I was going to try and uh, just not fit the things, but just place the bits where uh, I could to just show you about the accessories. but I'm afraid I've not got time today. It's, it's one of those funny days where it's horrible outside but I'm absolutely boiling. You're getting a bit of wind noise now, I expect. It's all about perspective. The two guys in the south of France, they've never had a car. I assume both of them, wherever, whenever they want to, and obviously they're outgoing guys as well. They, they're always taking the little army to different places. So whenever they've gone before, they're gonna have to have public transport, or I think they had two mopeds, which means you can't talk to each other you can't point things out and so on which which again you can in here and when it's raining I mean I I used to have a motorbike um, and I love motorbikes I was going to tech one night and I was going up a country lane and I woke up in a field <laughs> you know it's <laughs> you couldn't see where you're going through your visor the roads were slippy, it was a bend, I was an idiot, and uh, you know, you, you just, this is a heck of a lot safer. This is the worst bit. going across roundabouts Yeah, I've seen on um, Amazon, you can get these kind of sponge things with handles. And uh, I, I think that's, that's kind of an emergency thing. You keep it behind the seat here. Just wipe that window. And also, I th I th one of the things to do with this vehicle is rain -X, the outside of the window, so the rain just trickles off, so it doesn't, you know, pool like it is at the moment. And then there's also the, uh, you know, this liquid to stop the car steaming up inside, stuff that you put on the inside of your motorbike helmet visor. And with that under control, then um, it, it's no problem.
because it doesn't help that I've got a camera on this window either. When you are at a big angle like this, you can see out the back window, which is excellent. Put the heater on again, knock the indicator off. Pretty sure that heater on the audio will be garbage today. I have to apologise. And the roads in Preston, they do leave a lot to be desired. You know, the, again, the 28 mile an hour thing, the car's small enough to allow people to overtake easily. They can see ahead, there's no danger. And the worst comes to the worst and they're stuck behind you doing 28 miles an hour. They get to the destination two minutes later than they, they would have done if they'd been doing 30 miles an hour. doing 29 at the moment, gone down to 28. I think the biggest drawback I can see is that when you go for petrol, Normally you're under a canopy so you don't get soaked. When you have to just undo the charger or plug it into charge, there's a possibility that you're going to get wet. You know, we're not made of sugar. We're not going to, we're not going to dissolve. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, definitely needs the rain X, I think. So we've been out. I've got still got 33 miles left and uh, you know that people say it only does 46 miles now when you're a motor trader 46 miles I mean I, I used to drive around with a can, a can of fuel in the boot of my car all the time because you'd always run out, you know, you'd go and pick cars up from places, they'd be bone dry. Sometimes, one customer dropped a car off on the forecourt and I didn't get 10 yards before it ran out of fuel. But I also had an Opel Monza when I was a young lad and uh, there's, there's certain things I'm thinking about doing to this, but my Monza, my Monza had an electric fuel pump but I fitted another electric fuel pump in the boot with a pipe that I could just put into my tank and another pipe that I could put into another car. So if a car came in, you know, on the forecourt with uh, a full tank of fuel or, or plenty in, then I'd just put the tube down the fuel tank of that, switch my electric fuel pump up, and it would fill my car up. That's car dealers for you. So, so when, when people go on about 
I've only got 46 mile. The times we get in cars and drive places and the, the fuel light's on. And it, it's on at the start of your journey and it's still on at the end of your journey. It's not, it's not such a problem to me. It's, it's, just the, it's just the way of life in the motor trade. We, uh, we, also, we also employ the guy, he's dead now, a nice bloke, Lawrence. And I'm not kidding, as soon as we employed him, all the cars started running out of, <laughs> running out of petrol on the forecourt. He lived in St. Anne's, but I can guarantee he never, he never bought any petrol. And he, he used to walk around with a, with a length of hose pipe and it'd be... <laughs> as I say, the motor trade. So, I, I mean, I, I'd have to say, the condensation, I've got, you see, I've got dark sunglasses on. Because there's a camera in them, that's why. Hey, I've overtaken somebody. I should have, oh, I've videoed it. Um, so actually now, now I've taken my glasses off, it's a heck of a lot better. I forgot about that. That's a lot better, but I, I would, you know, I would still the um, the anti mist stuff and Rainex on the outside because I've got Rainex on the outside of my Range Rover on the on, on the windows of my Range Rover, and the, and the water just beads and runs off. You you if you give it a couple of coats, you don't even need to put your wipers on. Sometimes the wind just takes it all away. You know, it's not my car. I'd love to do it, but it's not my car, so uh, I'm not going to. But uh, when I get mine, then I might just. Right, so we'll just, coming back onto the forecourt here. I'm going to turn that off. It's, uh, that's going to absolutely destroy the audio because it is pretty loud. Just move that. See, they, they won't wait a second. They really won't wait a second. Here we go. And across. The lights are on, but there's nobody home. Oh, I always go here. So into reverse. You do have to remember if you're used to it, there's no parking sensors on it. There's no power steering, but you know, no power steering, that's where it stopped. When you're actually moving, it's a lot easier. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.